Hi everyone, this is Carmet Lichty with Onward Studios. This is a third video of demonstrating and showing you alternatives to Photoshop. In this video, we're going to cover an online option called Pixlr.com. P-I-X-L-R.com. When you go to that site, there's actually three options and I choose the, I think it's the advanced option. When you, after you select that option, you're going to come to this menu. I'm going to open an image from my computer. And we'll start with this ocean scene. And as you notice very quickly, there's a lot of similarities to Photoshop in this online option. We have the main menu across the top. We have options to change image size or canvas size. Various layer options. We have adjustments and filters. Again, very similar to Photoshop. And in the different alternatives we looked at, this one probably has more filters and adjustments than the previous two, although GIMP has, has quite a few as well. All right, so there's the main menu. And we see on the right side, same thing we're familiar with inside Photoshop, various panels available to us. And more panels available to us under the view option. A number of tools that are very similar to what we see inside Photoshop. We have the selection tools, the marquee and the lasso tools. We have the magic wand with a pencil brush, paint bucket, as well as the eraser tool with a gradient option. We have the different drawing tools. In fact, we're going to select that. And just as in Photoshop, we have the parameters for the selected tool up here above the preview area. So we'll stick with the rectangle shape. We'll do border, border size. We'll bring that up just a bit to make it more visible. Probably not quite that much. And we can select our color, fill color. We're going to do, we're going to actually pull a color off the, off this image. I'm going to click down here in this dark area to do a dark brown and click OK. And just simply click and draw across the image. Now I'm going to undo that just because I want to put that on its own layer. So I'm going to Go back here in the history palette to open image, click on new layer in the layers panel. I'm going to recreate that. Okay, and then we'll just add some text above this. I'm going to add a new layer again. Grab the text tool. I want to make this text color white. So I'm going to select up here. Actually, I'm going to change this to RGB and put that all the way over on each of those sliders. Give us a pure white. And we'll call this something like Ocean Scene. Obviously, this must be a very high resolution, so I'm going to make that a much larger font. And place as such. All right. So that's your quick introduction to an online option, Pixlr.com. You don't have to download any software to do this. Simply go online to that website and choose that. You can also save your images back to your computer under File Save, or you can also save them up in a cloud so they're accessible from anywhere. So that is Pixlr.com.